Hello everyone, my name is Volterra, I'm a developer for Krita and I'm participating in the Google Summer of Code and I want to show off uh, my project which is a, a bunch of features that uh, relate to this very very colorful picture this uh, picture is a uh, so-called normal map and normal maps are a type of texture used in 3D modeling and 3D rendering to fake surface detail what that means is, is that it ma can make models look much more detailed than they actually are. So to um, explain how it does that, we need to look at uh, how surfaces are modeled in the first place. Like in real life, if you have a surface and you have an eye and you have a s light, then to figure out how the light bounces off the surface and thus uh, how it uh, gives us more lights we need to imagine a so-called surface normal now if the if we draw a line from the light to the uh, surface normal where it bounces off then this angle which we call the index of income is exactly the same as the index of reflection so this is the line where the light is perfectly bouncing off, which means that this, um, yeah, that this is uh, the brightest, and we simulate this for uh, various things. Now, if we say like, okay, this normal isn't perpendicular to uh, the uh, surface, but it is actually kind of like this and we make the light bounce in then the index of income is much smaller which creates a much dimmer light in the end so to this is something that um, 3D programs say they, they fake this a lot and they go like okay uh, well, this is actually a flat surface. This is actually a flat surface, and we, we just say that here's a normal, and 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 then the light bounces off much stranger, which creates a whole, uh, which creates like a whole completely different experience than from just a flat plane. So. Um, it encodes these normals, or it uh, can uh, read these normals as um, 3D coordinates, so it has an X, a Y, and a Z. And uh, because computers, they see um, colors as R, G, B, we can use an image, or an image, or just a texture, to say that, okay, X equals R, or uh, the, the red uh, indicates the X, the green indicates the Y, and the B, blue indicates the Z coordinates, which means that uh, the 3D program can take these pretty colors here and turn them into normals. Now, we already had like uh, uh, this uh, filter which uh, could take height maps, so it could take, um, uh, if it was white here, and black there, it could transform it in, uh, into this. Uh, but and it then uses uh, the the Fong bump reflection model to show uh, to uh, calculate how the light is reflected. But uh, I made it the or this is the first part of uh, of my uh, or this first feature of my project that uh, I'm going to show off is that I made it allowed to use normal maps which make it much smoother and it has to do with that uh, internally it was turning the uh, height map into normal map but because we already have a normal map we don't need to do that calculation anymore and uh, the quality is just much higher so we can use this to uh, transform very very colorful images into uh, uh, 3D rendered yeah 3D rendered images So, um, 
now I'm going to go to the next part of um, my project, which is the prime part, which um, is the tangent normal map brush engine. And we are going to make an image that we fill with the default coordinates for normals, which is uh, half red, half green, and full blue. And we make two layers. And we select the tangent normal brush engine. Now, so what this brush engine does is that it draws uh, uh, these colors. But how it does that is by uh, it takes the tilt of uh, more advanced tablets like the uh, Intuquis and uh, uses that to determine how the uh, normal is how uh, or uh, how the normal is angled because you can actually kind of see the uh, stylus the stylus is sitting right on your tablet as a normal sort of because it's uh, usually it's straight up and we can say it's standing like this or we can say it's standing like this so uh, yeah so and you can already see this is uh, there's a, a third part to this all, all, all of this is that uh, we have a cursor now that uh, shows tilt because otherwise you wouldn't have any idea what uh, how you're drawing well you would have but it's kind of uh, vague but uh, we can use this to draw green like this uh. It works with mirror, so it takes the right color information based on uh, the uh, tilt. And uh, of course, as you may remember, the uh, funk bump map filter is a uh, filter that you can use as a filter layer. So what we're going to do is I, I have like these presets. We're going to uh, set this as a filter layer, and. You may not have noticed it, but um, the uh, filter layers got really sped up over uh, in Krita 2.6, which is great because then we can uh, draw these, draw the shadows like this in real time. And of course, it works with wrap round mode, and we have like real time feedback on uh, uh, the effect of our brush and we can look more like this, yay! see this was top, so what we need to do is do bottom here and I'm painting this with one single brush Usually these normal maps are made uh, with a 3D renderer and uh, it uses a much more uh, it uses a, a much more detailed model and a very um, a a very optimized model and uh, the renderer calculates how uh, the, the uh, texture should look like and makes a texture from that but uh, this is I think this is uh, or because we've seen so many people use Krita for hand painted textures. I thought it would be really cool to uh, allow them to hand paint the normal maps because uh, uh, all you're doing is just painting surfaces. And um, this allows for uh, much more uh, fake ideas, I guess, um, how you call it? Uh, uh, much more artistic approaches to normal maps, so uh, we can go like this and uh, let's see oh, let's see, there we go we can turn this around
and make much more messy approaches and we can uh, of course change the light source as an, and as we change the light source light source uh, the uh, image gets affected because of course what we're doing what we're drawing is surface information we're not uh, actually drawing shadows and light but we're drawing surface information so it looks like uh, this is far more uh, yeah this just gets affected by light Of course, uh, the, these are not the only things. The Tangent Normal Brush Engine has uh, a couple of uh, features, like for example, you can change the uh, uh, tangent encoding. Uh, this means that uh, this is because uh, some um, 3D renderers they don't say like, okay, uh, the red is the same as the X, and the green is the same as the Y, and the blue is the same as the Z. For example, a lot of uh, game engines they say like, okay, the blue. Th the red is the same as the X, and the blue is the same as the Z, but the green, the green is the sa uh, same as minus Y. Which uh, turns it into this kind of image. Uh, this, this preview is not uh, really updating properly, but um, it updates with uh, the... Um, if you change your brushes, but we're trying to figure out how to get this updating normally, it's, uh, it's a bug. But, uh, so the... the way how the light works uh, works differently for some um, uh, engines and for some uh, 3D renders. Other things that we can do is we can use direction instead. Now direction is interesting as a normal map because what it's um, what it uses that it uses oh what is going on here? Hello? What are we doing? Oh right. I'd been switching around the things too much. Okay, direction, direction. What direction does is, is that it uh, takes a drawing angle and allows you to use that uh, to uh, indicate the normals. And uh, normal maps which uh, use angle are used uh, for uh, 3D or f uh, are used for to uh, do distortions with. So for example flowing water uh, is done with uh, this method but also uh, images like uh, yeah images uh, that uh, use hair then they indicate like okay this is this is how the hair is flowing. And we can do it like this. And this just makes it really, really easy to make these things. Um, other options are rotation, which is for when you're using a Wacom art pen. And this was a request. This is a uh, mix between a tilt and direction. So it kind of uses both. I'm not quite sure why it, how it would be used, but uh, someone requested it. Then there is uh, elevation sensitivity. Oh yeah, I forgot to say what uh, direction. What's interesting is, is that you can use the uh, geometric tools. And it understands. So you can make very quickly, very precise movements. And you can also make uh, yeah, circles like this. So you can make uh, you can use these in the distortions, but yeah. Then there's um, elevation sensitivity. What that does is, is that uh, now we can get all the colors, but if we lower it completely to zero, we can only get the uh, neutral purple that or the neutral blue that I fill the uh, lower layer with, and this is kind of uh, important because it's kind of difficult to keep it precisely. Um, to keep your stylus precisely perpendicular to the tablet, even with a tilt cursor. And you can average this, like, okay, if you don't want the extremes, you can just draw like this. Okay. Now, uh, for the last feature, which is also sort of requested and actually kind of important, there is a... Um, 
this brush engine doesn't always, uh, because of all the features that Krita has, this brush engine doesn't always uh, give the right uh, normals because uh, of the color mixing going on and uh, uh, if you're going to combine it with, uh, yeah, if you're going to combine it with flow and opacity, then the color mixing going on makes makes it that it doesn't always give the no right normals. And this is, um, well, for lack of a better word, normal in a 3D program or in a two-day program. So uh, what we have for that uh, uh, solution is a so-called filter called Normalize. And uh, this takes all the colors and fixes them very quickly. And you can see the difference. Um, you can especially see the difference that if we turn on the Fung Bump Map m filter again, you can see it now without Normalize and now with Normalize. So that quite uh, makes quite a difference. And um, yeah, this uh, was uh, this is my project as so far this. I suppose I could uh, show off how it looks like in Blender. So one awkward cut later, we um, are dealing with uh, well, I've put these normal maps into uh, Blender, which is a 3D program, and uh, as you can see, here we here have these uh, three lights uh, lighting them. These are only six planes, so uh, which with I each on a normal map that I painted with the uh, uh, tangent normal brush engine. And as you can see, um, yeah, they look uh, just fine. They look very detailed and pretty, even though they're just six planes with a couple of texture on them. But it's a good way to uh, fake uh, stuff. And if you zoom in a lot, then there you can see that they uh, look very, uh, you can see these strokes very well, which um, uh, gives it a very painterly feel, which I think is interesting because you don't, uh, yeah, th there's a, a, a type of uh, non-photorealistic uh, type of graphics which uh, uses hand-painted uh, textures and um, the great thing about this is, is that you can create uh, you can create normal maps to go with that uh, that look very painterly and I'll be very interested to see what kind of cool things uh, you guys are going to make with it um, you can also use this for pixel art there's special programs that would uh, make it easier for you to use with pixel art but uh, now you can also do it with Krita and uh, yeah I don't know, it's, uh, it's going to be very interesting to see what people are going to do with it. Um, this is my project up till now. Uh, the Google Sum of Code period hasn't ended yet, so... So I'll probably be uh, working more on these, or I'll be working on a widget for the ICC profiles, which are uh, an important component of Krita, but they're kind of indiscernible to see what they do. Um, uh, in the meantime, I hope to uh, merge this into the stable branch soon enough so that uh, builds can be made and people can toy with them and probably report like a ton of bugs because uh, not many people have tested it yet, but still. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. I really, I really hope you uh, think it's uh, as cool and useful to use uh, as I did. And uh, I'll hope to see you guys again, or well, uh, I'll hope to s show off f more features uh, soon enough. Uh, see you later!